Go. This presentation is about how to quap or dive in soccer. Um, some people probably don't know what quap is, but it's in soccer where you try to draw the foul so then you can get the ball without actually getting fouled. And you do it on purpose. Um, so you have to make it believable. You can't just pop like out of nowhere. You gotta like you can't and whenever you dive it can't be like really weird to dive, you gotta just fall down. So yeah. Um you shouldn't only flop a spot that could benefit you. If you flop at like your the halfway line, the midfield, it's really not gonna do much because you're not gonna get a goal off a scoring opportunity. But if you flop in the box and you get a penalty, you would probably be able to score. Um, be far away from the refs. If you're right next to the refs, they're probably not going to be able. They're not going to. Well, they're going to see that you probably didn't get touched that much. And if you're far away, then you will. You will get more. Like you'll probably get the foul more. You have more of a chance to get it. Um, you have to draw the contact because if you just fall out of nowhere, the rest are going to be really suspicious. So if you like run into their leg or something, <laughs> you run into their leg or something and fall down, then you'll probably, then you'll probably um, yeah, you'll probably get the ball. Next slide. Um, use your size to your advantage. If you're really small, you can just sort of fall down and complain to the ref that you're too small and they were just shoving you over. And if you're really tall, then you can say that they were just kicking you in the legs. So yeah. Um. So yeah, these are one of some of my favorite flops. Um. Yeah. And flops. People think they don't really do that much, but they actually do a lot because you gotta get the ball sometimes if you're desperate. So yeah. Okay. <laughs>